You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you may on Twitter the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shard. So, oh, uh, I didn't really have enough time to make a fourth video today, so I just decided, that, hey, we're gonna do another episode of Lust Shards, and I don't think anyone's gonna really complain about that. So, ooh, excuse me, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm, Shan, you are up, and let's go. My goodness, that is an amazing scene. I love it. The artwork for this game is so good. Anyway. I can feel Dallin's big arm around my shoulder and stomach. He lays against the wall and I gently fall even deeper into his arms. Am I the only one who got a little bit of hot from our conversation? Same here. Should I let go? No. Let's just get the blankets lower. That makes more sense. We're gonna fall asleep like this, aren't we? Yep. I'm not gonna complain. Good night, Travis. Again. Sleep tight. Do you think this is, uh... Oh. He's already lightly snoring. I let out a long breath. The energy remaining inside me from the lamp post goes out with it and the sleepiness comes back. That same energy transformed into light particles resembling some kind of strange fireflies. This is way more comfortable than a bed. Oh, where's that damn door again? I'm now standing in front of the same door as in my previous dream. Except this time the vines and wood blocking the way are broken, pieces of wood scattered on the ground. I have to put some effort into opening it through the vines and greenery, but it finally gives in. I can finally go inside as it creaks open. The other side of the door contains... nothing? No. There's a room inside, but it's pitch black. I need to find a switch. Does it even exist? If you can't see it? You were too slow. Huh? I should have realized this sooner. I don't understand. How dare you! Dallin? Wake up. Hey. Hey, Travis, wake up! My eyes open from a gentle nudge. Where am I? In my office still. Uh, sorry to wake you up, but you were sliding down. Uh, kind of a lot. My eyes shoot open as I realize my snout is directly upon Talon's bulge. Ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I sit up and stand at the edge of the window sill with my hands in my lap. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. Uh, we should get going. The headquarters are starting to stir. Oh no! Do we have to call Aiden and Tate again? No need. You remember now, are you not? Right. Almost forgot. Here. He opens the drawer and hands me the Defender's badge. Nobody will question you with this. Shall we? I open the door. Oops, forgot my wallet. One sec. Too late, I walk out the door and instantly the members come rushing in. Their faces drop when they see it's not Dallin coming out. Who the hell are you? Yeah, where's Dallin? What were you doing in his office? Why wasn't I invited? Boy, this was a mistake. Did he do something to our leader? Maybe he robbed him! Let's kill him! Yeah! What the fuck? Calm down, everyone. This is Travis. The other recommended student. Travis? I've heard of you. It's the guy with the weird-ass name. <laughs> Your life shall be spared for now. Our shard is going to be so strong this year. It'd be great if the big one would cover himself up more. Cover herself up more. Someone give her the tailor's number. Yeah, let's go to the hall. It would be my pleasure. We'll leave the chattering voices behind as we close the door. Those people are tiresome. I can say that again. We didn't get the chance to talk after yesterday's practice. But I've seen you in action. You punched that dummy like there's no tomorrow. Both me and Cole were impressed. Thank you. It means a lot. I've seen you two fight as well. They had to replace the snake from the first round. Dallin's very excited that you'd be joining the shard. Speaking of Dallin, is he in his office still? Yeah, he forgot his wallet. Should be coming out soon. Although he's usually stuck having to respond to everyone's questions when he goes out, when he does get out. I see. I have to say, I was a bit surprised you already managed to bet a leader. Guess you got both power and charm on your side. I'm not judging. I know the feeling. Bed? What do you mean? You slept with Dallin last night. Isn't that why you were in his office so early? I thought I was the first to enter the headquarters this morning, and then you, then you exited the room. I did sleep there. Oh, you mean sex? No, 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 no. No, uh, we didn't do that. Oops, sorry for misunderstanding. Then I suppose down will take a while more. We'll take a while more to come. Too bad. I wanted to speak with him, but I'll be. But I'll be late. I'll be late to a meeting. I can pass on a message. No need. It's a little private. I'll see you around, Travis. Bye, Rose. And for the record, I don't think your name is weird. I like it. 
Travis Gabagooly. <laughs> yep, that's what he's going to be. Look, y'all get on to me for not. Y'all get y'all get on to me for going back and undoing choices. So, you know what? I I chose this name. This is my family name. My family name is Gabagooly, and fuck you if you don't like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, I don't mean to be so harsh. I, <laughs> My name is Gabagooly. That is my my family crest is like a plate of spaghetti. I don't know. I sit and... <laughs> it's just a plate of spaghetti. I sit back and wait for the commotion inside to die down. As soon as Dallin exits his office, everyone will basically jump into his arms. But no loud sounds seem to start. I wonder what's taking so long. Maybe he can't find his wallet. Or he jumped out the window so he doesn't have to see your face ever again. Ha ha. Oh, wow. Ah! Three handsome men appear in front of me. D Dallin! A hey guys! Sorry it took so long. I didn't feel like being suffocated by my members this morning. So I asked State for help. And I am here too. I have to take this one to detention, so I have to stick around. I'm not complaining. Come on, Travis. We're taking you to breakfast. It's Aiden Street. Um, first of all, excuse you. Second of all, there will be no breakfast for you. We're going to detention right now. What? You're not the boss of me. I'm gonna get waffles with Travis. I am in fact your boss. Dallin said so. And you don't need breakfast. You'll be full in no time. <laughs> oh. Fine. Tate was surprisingly quick to agree. Then we'll see you at today's pair battles. See ya. See ya. I was actually looking forward to having a full group hangout. Oh well, it's just me and you then. Actually, I'm afraid I'll have to see you straight at the arena. I promised Chelsea I'll be helping her this morning. Huh. I think, uh, I think you've been spending more time with her than I did these past two days. Are you sure you're not trying to steal my best friend? I promise I'm not. She just likes my help. She has an invention that I, that I have some experience on, so she wants my feedback. In that case, don't let me stop you. Having your new and old friends get along with each other is the best outcome you can hope for. And please, don't let her blow you, blow you up. I promise. Maybe not up. Maybe some kind of blowing will be happening. <laughs> I would love to punch you right now. Then hurry up and give me a material body, bitch. I hurry back to her office or workshop or whatever. I wonder what her surprise might be. Yeah, sure, you wonder. Like, it's not obvious. Knowing her, it could be the privilege of getting set on fire. Or you might become a nightfallen babysitter. Actually, yeah, there are many surprises in store. As I approach the hallway where her workshop is situated, I'm being jumped. Hey! Ouch! Don't be so dramatic, newbie. I barely touched you. I knew you'd show up. Who doesn't like surprises? Shroud's been talking about it all night and all morning. He can speak? He doesn't have vocal cords, but he did learn how to write. It's hard to understand, but I can tell he has very complex thoughts. One of them being, Ew, you put ketchup on the cinnamon roll? That judgmental little fuck. Ew! It's good! Whatever. I once knew a girl when I... Okay, so I... I went to Catholic school back in the day, and I knew a girl who put ketchup on her cinnamon bread. If y'all like that, fine. That kind of flavor combination to me feel sounds like it would set my mouth on fire. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead and... Whatever. Come on! Let's go inside! So, what would that surprise be, if I may ask? Sex! Uh, huh? What? Hmm? Why do you look so surprised? I thought we agreed on it yesterday. Well, we didn't talk about specifics or anything. I thought you were smart. So I take it that you want to back out? Do I? I mean, I really like Chelsea, but what about Talon? Do I want to continue this? Nope. Can you really? Go like, oh wow. I'm sorry, Chelsea. I can't do this to Dallin. Ah, so you do have a thing for him. I had a hunch, but I figured I was just wrong if you agreed to come here. I still really like you. Is it okay if we remain friends? Of course. As long as you don't start being weird around me like in movies. Just forget this ever happened. Understood. Well, I'm gonna have to deliver some bad news to Shroud. I hope he's not too disappointed. He'll get over it. Oh, I almost forgot. After we did the deed... I was going to ask you for a little help on an invention. <laughs> Would you mind sticking around for a bit? Sure. If I can help, I will. Expansion not yet done. Come back later. We will now jump over Chelsea's scene. <laughs> <laughs>
Expansion not yet done. We will jump. Oh, okay. So there's extra. All right. I arrive at the arena again with Dallin shortly behind. He looks a little moody still, but more content. Tate and Aiden show up behind him. Great! The gang is all here! Me and Tate do a double high five in the air as he jumps in excitement. I can't wait to unleash my claws on some first years. Travis! Travis, got a partner for today's battle? It's okay if you don't. First years usually don't, but that doesn't mean you're the biggest loser on the block or anything. Cough, cough. Dallin puts his hand on my shoulders. Actually, he does. He smiles widely. Finally! I already missed those big white teeth. Whoa! Dallin will fight with you. That's great! Then me and Aiden won't have to hold back. I never agreed to this. What? I thought you said yes! No, I said yeah when dragons soar the sky. But they do. Dragons don't exist anymore. What? Is that true? Me and Dallin reluctantly nod. For about a thousand years now. Oh. Well then, who's your current partner? Shit. I know I forgot something. Aiden looks around. Most people are standing in pairs, and he is reluctant to approach ones that are not. In the next seconds, Marina starts the announcements. Ugh, fine. It's my fault I forgot. I guess we're partners now. Yay! Let's go register against these two. No need. I'll just text Marina. I don't want to miss the first battle. We watch the first pairs into the arena. Is that the new guy from the sorcery shard? Cole. Yep, and the vice leader. Ollie will fight? He doesn't seem like the type. He's a small menace. A vice leader for a reason. Their opponents were a first year from the Slayer Shard and a summoner that looked like a, looked to be a bit older. The four of them step inside the circle. The fight began and ended by the time Aiden took to, uh, took to, uh, took to text Marina his request. Are you kidding me? What happened? That Cole guy shot a laser at the summoner guy, destroying him and his summon Nightfall in one hit. And the Slayer just got turned into a goose and ran out. Cole tries to go for a high five, but Ollie ducks and covers his head. Poor guy. What a fight! Or should we call it a show of strength? Isn't that right, Headmaster Argus? The Headmaster? What's he doing here? The four of us look up at the commentator's tower and see the large figure of a golden lion sitting next to Marina, watching more like a hawk. That's right. We have a talent we have talented new individuals this year, but the leaders and vice leaders are holding on strong to their renowned seats. We aren't the only ones confused by his presence. Half the arena was looking up at the commentator's tower. Noticing the silence, Marina continued. The headmaster is here out of sheer curiosity. Do not worry, this will not be affecting your performance throughout the year. As always, the battles before classes start start are only for our own entertainment. Most people calm down at this point. Does the headmaster not usually attend? Why would he? You heard, Marina. It's our thing. Yeah, he should mind his own business. The bitch really needs to stick his fat nose everywhere. It seems like Aiden has some things to say about the headmaster. The harsh words almost make Dallin jump. That's not fair. I think it's great that he wants to see what he's working with. It's his first year as the headmaster, too. Dallin has a point. Perhaps. But it still doesn't sit right with me. Next up, we have another first year that shocked the crowd at practice yesterday. Along with her shards vice leader, give it up for... Rose and Chelsea! The crowd goes nuts around us, Dallin and I being the loudest. Go, bestie! Crush them, girls! Girl boss all over their asses! Woohoo! <laughs> up against the infamous senior twins, Tim and Burr Pawalski! They're up against two twin bear brothers from the sorcery shard. And considering how the first fight went, a good part of the crowd is cheering for them as well. Hopefully I'll have some time to blink this time, as the fight starts. I love seeing Chelsea fight, even if she has no magic. Neither of them do, actually, right? I believe Rose is some kind of super strong enchantments, actually. I see. As soon as the bell rings, Rose dashes in the twins' faces, attempting to end the fight quickly, but they have the reflexes to dodge and set up barriers. It looked tanky. Barrier users. I hate them. Not you, Dallin. Yours are, yours are sexy. Aw, oh, thanks. One of the bears focuses on defending them both, while the other switches focus to Chelsea, who looks defenseless. But her flying boots have something to say about that. From the air, she throws different gadgets. A net, a net spiked bomb traps, and even mechanical snakes. Rose appears to be countered by the bear. Rose appears to be countered by the barrier, but it only takes her one swing to crack it and another to break it. The lightning bolt sent in her direction was a clean hit, but it doesn't affect her greatly. She dropped her weapon, picked up the bear, and threw him with all her might, which was enough for him to leave the arena. Chelsea isn't in any danger, but her attacks are all getting blocked. Chelsea looks angry. She's boiling over. She's boiling over there. 
Oh, no. Chelsea? Need some help? No, thanks. I got this. She lands on the ground. Parry this, you filthy casual. She pulled out a... <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking pulls out a gun? What the fuck, girl? She pulled out a Glock? Ah! The crowd is not as alarmed as I am. Is that allowed? Is he gonna be okay? She shoots her magazine until it's empty. Yeah, yeah, I know. It sounds scary and loud, but those are just taser bolts. It's hard even for me to get used to it. The bear could parry the tech she threw at him, but the bullets were too fast, and he falls back, shaking. This marks our second victory of the day. We all cheered once again. They deserved it, even if it almost, even if it, all, if I almost got traumatized. Next up, yet another first year in vice leader pairing. This appears to be a very popular choice until we run out of vice leaders, of course. Tate of the Sorcery Shard and Aiden of the Slayers. Against Travis, the first year recommended student for the Defender Shard, along with his leader, Talon. We are already up? How? We got here late. Apparently, a lot of people got cold feet and pulled out of the registration after the first battle. It must have scared them. Ha! Huh, their loss. Let's go! We're gonna so gonna crush you. Sorry if you end up crying. I can't control my immense power. We jump down into the arena and wait for the bell to ring. I need to tell you something. About? You know how I'm immune to magic? Yeah, lucky you. Well, I'm not anymore. I gave my daily protective barrier to you yesterday. Huh? Why would you let down your strongest move? You underestimate me if you think that is my biggest move. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.